Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're playing Aporia Beyond the Valley. I know nothing about this game really. It uh its intro description mentions of well of course puzzles and so on and so forth, but also mentions uh it being a non-verbal story with no text or voice acting, I believe, at all. It's all like image-based storytelling. Aside from that, they uh draw <laughs> They uh, do something I consider risky, which is they say that if you like if you like Mist and The Witness and the Vanishing of Ethan Carter, you'll like this game. And I'm like, oh, that's um, that's a really high risk, high reward comparison to draw. Let's see if you can stand up to that one. Save your game often. Auto save will only occasionally save your game. Okay. Are we a go? Yep, we're a go. Oh. Oh, the... Ah. Uh. Hello. They teach you immediately how to jump over things. Ah, it's, it's always a jump, not a... Not a, like, a vault over object. So we woke up in a weird... Golden pool. There's a twisty, rotate thing right here. Sounds like something moved. A lot of is that is that dust on my eyeballs? That ooh, am I wearing? I must be wearing like a mask or something, because there's like dust and scratches all over the screen. Like, and my eyeballs are really have some serious. I should be blinking fiercely right now if that's something I realize. So it's all rotated to go to my coffin stasis chamber. Is that a picture of me, by the way? There's a picture by each one of different people. This one's cr collapsed upon. Oh crap, there's a body in there. Is he dead? The bard, I suppose, of the group? We seem to be like a holy character, perhaps? Seems like the reasonable thing to draw. There's a builder, that's pretty straightforward. There's the grower. And there's the hunter. And then there's the scholar. Okay, so each character has uh, some kind of personality trait. None of the other stasis chambers are still full, are they? Except for the dead guy? That's a bummer. <laughs> so basically, we still have a builder, and we have a farmer, and a hunter, and a scholar, and even the religious, the spiritual character is alive. But the art has died. <laughs> That's just not a happy start for the game. Oh, look, blood. I think. Or it's one of these things just... It is around the thing that broke. So, like, maybe the thing just broke and it spilled everywhere and then got kind of that color over time. Because it seemed gold when I picked it up. But it also looks like blood. Okay. I don't think I can interact with this thing to rearrange it and make it go into different directions. Maybe it's only meant to eject one person at a time, because it links up with me and the exit at the same time, and no one else. So maybe everyone else just left, except the one that's probably never going to leave, because he looks really dead. There's the six of us. Oh, we're holding the canister, which 
I immediately think of like the secret of the ooze when I see a canister shaped like that. Uh, so we have a city. We ruled over slash created or powered or conjured a city. I wonder how one of us apparently being gone affects that balance. Ah, they may they move make you move super slow so you don't like walk away without it basically. So blue Did it say that blue invented the uh power? Right, green was art. Oh maybe that is maybe that is blue. It looked black in this room, but I don't think anyone else looks like that color. So maybe that's the blackish bluish color is maybe the same one. Yeah, I, I could buy that. I just saw it differently in a different room. Okay, so he is the one who created the power source in the first place, which they realize interacts with these ancient ruins that I think predate their civilization or something. He seemed to literally make it out of fire, like it seemed to consume the fire or something. What in the world? Well, that was a strange sight. Okay, so you jam these things in there and you can use the power to operate things, but it drains the power, so now I need more power. So my vial is basically empty. We started with we started with the civilization, then we had six, which for some reason went to stasis pods. Hello, Polygon. Uh, and then we went down to five because one of us did not survive the process, and that might be, and that, those might be the only five people that remain, possibly. Hey, you guys want to test fall damage? Oh. There's a health bar. Alright, well now we know. <laughs> test complete. I did not expect a health bar. That uh, raises questions about what might happen to me in this game. So is this how I get more power? Yep. I filled up a bit of it. I wonder how much I can, like, if I might be able to, like, sequence break with certain platforming along the way. <laughs> there we go. I didn't need no stairs. Too powerful for that nonsense. 
Well, whatever happened, life is flourishing that's not human. Whoa! Hey, I made it. We're good. Got a little worried midway through that. I wasn't really planning that far ahead. Can I get up there? It's so agonizingly close to looking possible. Maybe not. Oh. It's almost like a like I can grab things and move them around kind of. Or maybe not. No, you get you can't pick them up. You just kind of kick them or punch them. Huh. Use the right click to use what? Oh, flashlight. Okay. I assume that uses my meter like a lot. Try to conserve that before I get myself in some trouble or something. So this stuff is just everywhere. Okay. Probably not at a, at a big risk so far. Especially since I don't think it's really dark enough to justify using a flashlight yet, either. Oh, is this where I was a second ago? Oh yeah, it was. I think I missed the staircase. Oh, we do have a sprint. So there's, a, there's a certain mixed impact here as far as, far as the audiovisual goes like you can tell that they were limited in what they could do like uh, there's a lot of polygons that mash together awkwardly and there's weird little there's weird little graphical details that are like not quite polished but when you look when you don't look at anything up close and you just look at like the grand like general like landscapes like these like walking in on this kind of stuff and seeing this in the horizon things like that like you can tell the developers had some eye for aesthetic. Like, the game overall has a nice look to it so far. It just don't want to look too close to the details because it is very much indie. And doesn't hide it as well as some games do, but better than definitely a few have too. Before that opened, we had the hammer, which seems to be the symbol of the builder that we saw in the intro. That we saw in the... the tapestries, at least. Oh god. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Whoops. Got a little close to that ledge, huh? I'm, like, actually at risk of killing myself, aren't I? I need to stop doing that. There's something glowing down there. It's probably just more bar. There's stuff down here, too. It's just more of that stuff, which we do kind of need. I think I heard myself drowning. The que now the question for me is, uh, am I named Aporia? Is the kingdom called Aporia? Or is the game just called Aporia and not really a name that shows up somewhere in the game or something? We're definitely playing a lot of games that, uh, either have made-up names or names that are have roots in languages that I don't understand. Like, uh, we just did, uh, Archaica, and then we did Vape- now we're doing Vaporum, and, uh, 
and Aporia. I'll take it over the other approach, though, where AAA companies will be like, This game's called Anthem. This game's called Destiny. I'm like, these are boring names. It's just a word. It's just one English word on its own, which the word itself, out of context, says nothing about the game itself. And frankly, even after playing Destiny for a lot, I still don't think the word, the name Destiny describes the game in any meaningful way. It just is a game that happens to be called Destiny for reasons. Might as well save you and just leave you there, right? I, my cup runneth over for the moment. I might as well just leave the glowy bits floating around the uh, environment until I run out. Or until I do that. Go grab it now. Well, I'll take some mystic sounding word that doesn't make any sense at first, but is a word I haven't seen be the name of any other game yet, so it's nice and searchable. <laughs> And then, uh, maybe over the course of the game you realize what the word means, like how Mist is the location that Mist takes place in, and Riven is the name of the location that Riven takes place in, and so on. Instead of... <laughs> Brink. Because <laughs> that's the name of a video game. Hello. It seems like a circle of portals or like a Stonehenge type thing. It's really far away so the details aren't clear, but there's something glowy. Oh, it might not be a circle of portals. It might be... There might be a single blue thing that's glowing in the middle and then a series of stones or something standing up around it and the stones are illuminated by the blue thing in the middle. Oh, that's skeleton. Two skeletons. Ah, great. Giant... The, the giant skull compared to the size of the body suggests that that's the corpse of a child being held by their parent. Great. I have many questions about how they're still in that position, but... Ow. Oh. Great. So things worked out great for Aporia, which may or may not be called Aporia. Can I go that way too? There's like a beam. Oh, they both feed in, and I have to, in order to open that, both feeding, both both sources need to be lit. I think. Okay. I'm not crazy, right? We can all agree that like, Shadow Run is a cooler name than Anthem. Because one of them's unique to the property it's based on, and the other one's not. I think that's all we needed. Grab you real quick. Now walk too close to the ledge. I've learned the hard way what happens when I do that. There seems to be an aqueduct or twisting wall down there. I think... I think we can walk to all those places. Like, there's rocks over there. There's that thing down there. There's, like, something... I can vaguely make out, in the top left up there, like, three streaks of gold or something along a hillside, almost like streaks of, like, lava flow or something. And then straight ahead towards the sunset or sunrise or whatever, there's a... You can see this... There's a building on top of a mountain. You, you only barely make out the shapes, but there's... Oops, don't pull that out. You can barely make out the shapes, but it likely means something. Let's try this path. Nope. Don't think you can really do that kind of climbing. I dig the door design. I really got a kick out of the flickering, weird, like, sort of glitchy looking first one where it was like, looked like it was clearly like an effort to open it. I wonder what's up with the wire design. Like, is this some, some kind of power source that needs to be constantly agitated or something? So it needs to be constantly changing directions or it'll like somehow lose power due to lack of energy or something? Like, if it goes in a straight line, is it somehow weakened? Because that's the only re that's the only conceivable reason I can think of why somebody would make 
them look like that besides it being a fictional world and looking cool, I guess. We've got... ore? Is this what goes inside the vials? Do you melt it down? Is that Adam? Oh. At first I thought I was inverted, but I'm not grabbing the actual platform, I'm grabbing the rope. And put in the platform goes the opposite direction that the rope goes in, which makes sense. Get on you. Let's go up first, because I can. Whoa, you, it has momentum. If you, if you really, like, throw it, it goes for a bit. I go up here for a sec. Lots of bowls. Storage devices. More you. Lots of dead. The, f oh, the fact that we were in stasis made me assume that society may have fallen in some way, but the uh, abundance of corpses makes that pretty clear at this point. Shredded, dilapidated clothing. Everyone had this stuff, though, just around. And its energy does not appear to decay. Did that- oh. Did they drink it? I think it's suggesting they drank it. Maybe to kill themselves, even. Like, that's how they went out. You gotta wonder what killed everybody. Maybe they were just... Maybe in, like, a shockwave sort of way, something swept through the entire society and took everybody out. Something catastrophic and immediate, like... Something Pompeii-like. Okay, at this point, there's a little diminishing returns on the, uh... Holding your child while they die in the exact same pose. Maybe that was the, uh, government-wide, like, standard emergency hold your child position. When something bad's happening. Like, when everyone says to hide in- like, when they have you hide under your desks when they, in case of, a uh, Nuclear strike. Upon an American city. Cause that'll work. That'll save them. Huh. I keep thinking I'm going down a random side path that's gonna dead end and not go anywhere. And then it keeps turning out to maybe be the way I'm supposed to go. Curious. Or maybe- or maybe multiple paths kind of also led here. Okay, what is that? A hammer? It didn't- it didn't look like that, did it? Huh. Oh. Huh. That's a funny trick. Huh, yeah, I was gonna try going to the top of the uh, uh, elevator and the... the bottom of the elevator. Whoa. Instead, I think I took exactly where I need to go, or... Yeah, who knows. You can adjust the brightness in the graphics menu. So now I'm just waiting for the puzzles to show up. We've established the basics of interaction. How to open doors, how the weird little... canister pedestals work, essentially. Whoa, that was like... Necro, uh... Necropolis graphics for a second there. I still see out there? A little bit. I don't need no light source. Yeah, I'll do it for you guys.
Seems to be a substance that fixes all their problems. Surprisingly expressive little uh, hieroglyphic things, aren't they? Little hand twitches and little moments there, like they actually have like a lot- They actually can like express emotion despite having static faces and stuff like that. Or at least surprise. So not only does it apparently grow crops... ...and basically solve all their problems, it seems to like it might even cure disease or even aging. Like it might de-age them. Yep. It, it seemed like their wrinkles went away. That's an odd sight. So it looks like the same material that we have with everything else. Maybe that's what they mine to make it in the first place. And it's like a toxic field. Hello. Ah, and that's how you heal. Double tutorial right there. That's the stuff that hurts you, and that's that's what heals you. But you need to grow it via the flashlight effect, basically. It both works its way into the gameplay and the storytelling, so it's kind of it's kind of elegant in that way. The way that it uh, builds itself up as being an explanation for what happened in the world itself, and also a mechanic you're going to use. I'm probably not going to try to cross that river with the way it's flowing, unless I don't find a different option. Huh. You can light them up. I assume I'm just, like, uncorking this thing and just pouring some into the little cup? Yeah. Huh? Well, if you give me a light source to make, I'll make those light sources, because that's satisfying. I was like lighting up a place over time. Makes me wonder if the sun's gonna ever go down around here? If there's stuff like that around? It'd be kinda nice to see your handiwork of everything lit up later. Got briefly concerned I was stepping across a tripwire when I saw that route. <laughs> 